A uh, pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Our Thursday opener in about 27 minutes at 5.55. Nine races to beat us fast. 20 cent, a single six, a jackpot carryover in excess of $30,000 commencing in the fourth race. Let's get right into the changes. In the Thursday opener, scratches 111 and 12. Gambi, Lamani, Vivas in front. 111 and 12, all scratched from the Thursday opener. Both of the also's draw in. The 14, Redneck Agenda. A jockey change to Yar Marie Correa. The weight's 125 pounds. Six Gotham Gray has an additional workout. Third of February, right here at Turfway Park. Fast as always. 5 8, 1 minute, 2 seconds, breezy. As always, the opener will begin the early double, the early pick three, and the early pick five. Bertown settles down, just about ready for the Thursday opener. And there they go. Redneck Agenda and Lily's home fire out to the lead together. 1776 vying for third. Right there with her is the favorite, Gotham Gray. It's Redneck Agenda speeding clear from Lily's home. Zolaire's into third. A Blossom Diva from the far outside. 1776 from the rail. The gray is Gotham Gray, and Gotham Gray is a little more than three lengths off the lead. And following after her along the inside is Clovertown. Redneck Agenda, Lily's home there, 1-2 at the 3-8. 1776 is into the third spot. Solar being pushed on from the outside. Gotham Gray from between runners. There's Brisbane Road with a flash. She's four deep, and she's closing in strongly. Brisbane Road making up ground to the outside. Clovertown tries to kick it into gear. I'm going to pledge a Casino Annie, Blossom Diva all in the call. In the meantime, Brisbane Road is up to the front. Here's Brisbane Road getting to the lead, but can she see it through? Gotham Gray now has a look centered out to the racetrack. And here comes Gotham Gray. Lily's home has turned back the bit of Brisbane Road. Pledulations laid on the seed. Gotham Gray and Pledulations. Gotham Gray, Pledulations. Who's going to win the opener? Got real tight on the line. Pledulations was rolling home. Gotham Gray tried to beat her to the punch. After them, Lily's home and Casino Annie. You always want to wait till as long as you can on the tapita here at Turfway. Brisbane Road with that big flash through the turn. Gave her backers quite a thrill, but it didn't last long, and I'm not even sure if she actually got to the front. Lily's home kind of repelled her bit. Then Gotham Gray was put into the center of the track, came with a big run, and it's Pledulations who's really rolling home to the far outside. Let's check out this slow-mo. Pledulations and Gotham Gray. Pledulations and Gotham Gray coming back. Boy, it's tight. 18 to one versus five to two. Quite a discrepancy in price. The final running time, 113 and 47 one hundredths. A great way to start the Thursday card. Here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming, Pledulations is in the winner's circle. Four-year-old of a Philly by congrats. Out of the Wild Rush Mare, Pledge Bomb, owned by Douglas and Caroline, Carolyn Weibsel, winning at trainers David Ryder and the winning jockey Rafael Mojica Jr. At 113 and 47 one hundredths, that exact $165.94. The trifecta, $186.37. 10 cent super, $337 and some change. $337.56. Great dollar superfecta to kickstart the Thursday card. $3,375.62. So the early pick five is off and running with an 18 to one shot. Second race will commence the early pick four, 23 minutes away, 625 is the post time. Four scratches, four satisfied, six vivid exposure and both of the also eligibles, 13 and 14, Anna and DDB. Jockey change on the nine and a peach to Sunny Leone, the weight's good, 11 cc grand, two pounds over. Tonight's second race, 625 starting the early pick four. And there they go. Pretty good start, then Red Jag stumbled thereafter. 
Eastern Sunrise and she's a keeper out for the lead. Split decision from the inside. CC Grand from the extreme outside. Sacred Connection forwardly placed. So to his point well taken in the two path. It is Eastern Sunrise making the lead from she's a keeper. CC Grand is into third. Point well taken. Travels well enough along the inside. She's into the fourth spot. Sacred Connection headed by Red Jag who had that trouble there after the start. Split decision is about six lengths off the lead. From her outside race is in a peach. It's a break of at least two lengths to Keela Empire. And at the tail of the field, oh, Pollyanna, a little less than eight lengths from first to last. Eastern Sunrise, and she's a keeper. Chasing them, CC Grand, point well taken, bides her time from the inside. Red Jag is now in the fifth spot, three lengths off the lead. Sacred Connection asked for her run, five lengths from the front. And a peach joins her from the outside. Oh, Pollyanna, oh, Pollyanna trying to take off. She is now third last passing split decision. Tequila Empire is still at the back. Eastern Sunrise, she's a keeper. They've been one, two throughout. Here comes Red Jag to the outside. Boy, point well taken. Looks like she's loaded. She just needs somewhere to go. Fire in the hole with point well taken. Can she find room? Once she does, she's a player. Where's she going to go? Eastern Sunrise, she's a keeper. Point well taken. Dives to the rail. Red Jag to the outside. Point well taken. Trying to squeeze through a tight spot along the inside. And there she is up to the front. Point well taken. Comes away with the lead. And a peach rallies into second. Tequila Empire late on the scene to the outside. Race two is all about point well taken. And the early double to David Ryder. Point well taken from in a page, Tequila Empire. Oh, Pollyanna for the Super Facta. Fire in the hole near the quarter pole. You could tell point well taken was really loaded for a big run this evening. Gutsy ride by Yarma Ray Correa. Sometimes trying to opt for that inside rally doesn't pay off, but when you've got the best, why not? That was a gutsy ride and a heck of a run from the three. Point well taken. David Ryder sweeping the early daily double along with our own Scott Shapiro. 140 and 54 100s race two. And the winner's circle is three. Point well taken. Five-year-old Gray Road Mare by Creative Cause out of the Smart Strike Mare at Fair Point owned by Soup Dump Stables. Early double belongs to one man, David Ryder, winning trainer. About the gutsy ride by Yarmare Correa. Big time ride. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Stuart Janney III, LLC. And said Super $168.99. Dollar Super back to $1,689.90. Three nine exact of fifty three dollars eighty cent. Three nine five trifecta two hundred twenty dollars sixty four cents. Four three rider double fifty nine dollars fourteen cents. Third race offering a double and a mid pick three scratches one four and nine strike appeal digital software I owe you again. Twenty three minutes away six fifty five is the post time. And there they go. Rock and Justice asked for speed from the far outside. City plan, though, a little quicker. Also up there, big, beautiful wall. Stewards rules inside of Zami's Trooper. After them races Estilo Pelagroso, and at the tail of the field is Weekend in Court. So it is City plan who will establish the pace. He's in no hurry. Leads by a little more than a length. Rock and Justice second. Big, beautiful wall forwardly position. Stewards rules in the two paths. Sammy's Troopers the gray from the far outside. Almost four lengths to Estilo Pelagroso and Weekend in Court joins him at the back marker. 25 seconds. Now they're going to pick up the tempo just a little bit. Rock and Justice forcing the hand of a city plan. They are 1-2. Big beautiful wall track smartly along the rail and he wants to join the leader line up the inside. Sammy's Troopers in the clear from the outside and Stewards rules is three lengths off the lead heading into the turn. Rock and Justice has the lead. Rock and Justice, big beautiful wall. City plan, Sammy's Trooper, three deep, beginning his bid. Stewards rules three and a half for four off the lead. Estilo Pelagroso and Weekend in Court still at the back. Rock and Justice is the one to beat at the quarter pole. Sammy's Troopers under a heavy drive from the outside. Big beautiful wall is third. In the fourth spot races Estilo Pelagroso, and he's trying to commence his bid. But it's Rock and Justice who has the lead at the eighth pole. Big beautiful wall comes on along the inside. Rock and Justice and big beautiful wall. Rock and Justice, big beautiful wall up the inside. Here's another rail charge. Big beautiful wall. 
As the rail charge, the move of the evening, big beautiful wall from Rock and Justice, Estilo Pelagroso third, then Sammy's Trooper. And even last night, sweeping moves, big outside rallies were the theme. So far we have on this a Thursday card, some back-to-back -back rail charges, big beautiful wall. The race before, point well taken, we shall see. The inside rally proves to be the move of the evening. Three, a big, a beautiful wall. Two to one, the second choice. Out finishing 10, Rock and Justice, the eight to five post time favorite. And the winner's circle is three, big, beautiful wall. His sixth career victory, eight year old of Elding by Jetta Hoochie War out of the Broken Bow Mare Mending Wall. Owned and trained by Bernard Dunham, winning jockey Tyler Gunner. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Mrs. Jerry Emmerman. Exact $18.54, trifecta $61.37. Three, three, double, $11.55. Three eleven consolation double, three dollars and a nickel. Ten cent superfecta, fifty dollars ninety eight cents. A dollar superfecta, five hundred nine dollars eighty two cents. Four three three early pick three, one hundred forty four dollars ninety three cents. Four three eleven consolation early pick three, twenty five dollars forty cents. Fourth race starts the twenty cent single six a jackpot in excess of thirty thousand dollars for the carryover. Thirty thousand one hundred ninety seven dollars ninety six cents. One and 13, both scratch from the fourth. Kate's Concerto and Willadine. Seven gold Delmar, two pounds over the weight. A couple of additional workouts. Three may be a miracle right here at Turfway Park. Back on the 30th of December, fast track that morning. Half mile, 48 seconds, breezing out of the gate. Nine tartan green once upon a time back in late November at Keeneland, the 24th of November. Fast track that morning, half mile, 48 and four fifths, breezing out of the gate. And there they go. Quick start, Tivoli from the top shelf. Urban Cowgirl, Gold Delmar, Lady Robo, they're mixing it up. Sassy Walker comes away in a good spot. She's up close to the action. In fact, she's going to secure the fourth position in behind the three leaders. Sarissa comes away running in six. I'm going to Sally, a Bali, a Tartan Green. Always dream big. D minus from the inside. Maybe a miracle is the last of all. Tivoli and the three-year-old filly, Gold Delmar, vie for the top spot. Nice tracking trip for Sassy Walker. The big favorite's in a good spot heading into the turn, and she has momentum. She's going to bide her time and sit very patiently in the clear from the outside. Sassy Walker looks like she's going to be tough this evening. We'll see. Also up close to the action, Urban Cowgirl. Lady Robo tries to commence a bit up the inside, getting within five lengths of the front. Maybe a miracle's taking off of the wide charge. In the meantime, Sassy Walker now comes under the strong drive. So it's Tivoli and the three-year-old Philly Gold Delmar. Boy, Sassy Walker was handled with a lot of confidence. Now she's struggling just a bit. Urban Cowgirl advances to her inside. Lady Robo up the rail. And maybe a miracle continues to try to close in. And there's D minus emerging as one of the late threats. Here comes D minus to the far outside. D minus to tackle Urban Cowgirl. Urban Cowgirl and D minus. D minus to the outside of Urban Cowgirl in a thrilling finish. Tevely checked in third. Lady Robo's in a photo for fourth with Gold Delmar. D minus really rolling in after Urban Cowgirl. This race had all sorts of stories. Sassy Walker was handled with the utmost confidence. And then when asked for a run, she comes up empty at six to five. Boy, I liked her chances through the turn. Abel, Abel Cedillo probably liked his chances also. Look at this finish, fans. Urban Cowgirl, she gets a pretty favorable late bob. We shall see D minus right there. We definitely know Tivoli checked in third. Another tight photo for fourth. Fourth race turns out to be a pretty good one starting this 20 cent single six jackpot. 118 and 53 one hundreds, the final time. Hold all tickets. This is a tight, tight photo finish. Since Urban Cowgirl, a four year old chestnut filly by Air Force Blue out of the Sky Classic, Mayor JJ's Classic, owned by Nana's Nest and Robert Klein. Robert's the winning trainer. Sonny Leo, the winning jockey, winner was bred in Kentucky by Nancy Winchell. 
Exacta Big, $538.70. Trifecta, $1,078.62. Ten Cent Super, $3,044.24. Look at the dollar Superfecta, $30,442.48. 336 pick three, I missed it. 3116 consolation pick three, $28.68. Three six, daily double forty nine dollars seven cents. Get you that pick three. Coming up here in just a little bit. Here it is. Three three six one hundred thirty six dollars seventy nine. All right, the fifth race scratching a two and four crushed ice and American Maestra. Two and four out of the fifth, starting our late pick five. Three risky shot has an additional workout. 29th of December, Keeneland fast track that morning half mile move. 48 seconds, breezing out of the gate. The fifth at 22 minutes at 7.55. And there they go. And quickly into stride is Stagflation. A big dig is a forwardly position. Here comes Sweet Trouble, gunning for a piece of the lead from the inside. Four-way stop is there with her. Marmalade Skies up close. Sherbet Fountain turning back in distance, also forwardly positioned. Here's Uppercase. She's in the fifth position, vying for fourth. Red Silks, three off the lead, held by Sweet Trouble. Catman from the far outside, reactive, tries to pick up momentum from the inside. Stagflation broke on top. Now she's third last. Risky shot, the lone debutante, second last. And Big Dig is the last of the 10-year-old Phillies. And here is Sweet Trouble with the lead. Marmalade Sky picks up the chase. She's into second. Back to third is four-way stop. Upper case is under a heavy, heavy drive from the far outside. She makes a move for third, but she's three lengths from Sweet Trouble. After that, race is reactive. Sherbet Fountain backpedals. And then we go to the extreme outside. Catmint with stagflation. Sweet Trouble has the lead. Marmalade Sky with her run. And here's Upper Case. Upper Case out of the victorious race. And she makes her move. Sweet Trouble, Marmalade Sky, Upper Case. And behind them is Reactive. Upper Case has her head in front. Upper Case is the leader in deep stretch. Upper Case is the winner. Marmalade Skies in a photo for second with an oncoming stagflation. Reactive checked in fourth for the Super Vecta. She comes out of the victorious race on the 4th of January. There's a gal I want you to remember her name, Victorious. She is a big, strong, good looking filly who has rattled off two consecutive victories. Company lines often tells the tale here in these maiden races and uppercase. The daughter by American Pharaoh puts in a very solid run at 9 to 2, 118 and 29 one hundredths. Marmalade Sky ran very well in defeat. She is in a tight photo for second with the oncoming stagflation. It looks like nine reactive in that fourth spot. Make sure to hold all tickets. We do know the eight uppercase is the unofficial winner. Upper case is in the winner's circle. Four-year-old Bay Philly by American Navarro out of the Smart Strike Mare. Ranked Smart, owned by OXO Equine LLC, winning a trader Paulo Lobo, winning jockey Luan Machado. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Thor Bread Stables LLC. 368 pick three, $189.30. Early pick five, $11,374.47. Four out of five, ninety-three dollars eighty-one cents. Eight seven exact, sixty dollars eighty-four cents. Eight seven ten trifecta, one hundred twenty-four dollars thirty-three cents. Six eight double, sixty-seven dollars ninety-three cents. Early pick four, twelve hundred forty dollars and five cents. Ten cent superfecta, one hundred sixty-four dollars twenty-nine cents. Dollar superfecta, sixteen hundred forty-two dollars and ninety-eight cents. Race six will start the late pick four. Four scratches to report, four, seven, 11, and 13, four medal of fact, seven double advantage, 11, one lucky day, and the also eligible 13, Sergeant Barger, all scratch from this upcoming six race, starting our late pick four and overweight on eight, Carl G, two pounds over, post time in 23 minutes at 8.25. When it comes to horse racing, you can never have too much information. With Twin Spires, you can place your bets with confidence. Whether you use handicapping insights, like our Brisnet speed ratings, prime power and past performances, the guidance of our experts' top picks, or just choose a name that catches your eye. Yes! 
No matter how you pick your horse, bet with Twin Spires and use stable alerts to never miss a bet. And there they go. Richie's in the house and one cool dude quickly into stride. One for Richie is showing plenty of pop. So too is Stitzy gunned hard from between runners. Stitzy one for Richie and Richie's in the house. The Richie's are surrounding Stitzy. Look at the trip for one cool dude. He's traveling sweet enough through the early stages. He's in the fourth spot from the far outside. Not again, Jackie. Carl G. Last Rue joins them. And the two grays are at the back. Blazing Road and Malligator. 22 and three-fifths. One for Richie from the rail. Richie's in the house. Three wide. Stitzy splits them. Extreme outside. One cool dude. Not again, Jackie from the inside. Carl G. One from the outside. More than three and a half for four off the lead. As Stitzy gives way. Trying to close in. Malligator. Last through. Nothing yet from Blazing Road. One for Richie's. The leader at the quarter pole. Richie's in the house being shoved on. Here comes the dude, one cool dude. And how about Carl G with that aggressive warm up? Carl G makes his move up the inside. Here comes Carl G. Richie's in the house, quickens. One for Richie gives way. One cool dude is a little even paced. Richie's in the house, has his head in front from Carl G. One cool dude is third. Richie's in the house, and Carl G. Richie's in the house. Another one for Sonny Leone. Richie's in the house from a game, Carl G. Then one cool dude after that was a blazing road and Malligator. There's a horse a couple of races ago who was an odds on favorite against $16,000 claimers. Talk about company lines. I know he was a distant 11th in his recent start, but the horse that won that race, Molto Vivace, really stepped up in class and has looked pretty good in a couple of starts. It's a game run from Richie's in the house. This 10-year-old just registered his 20th career victory. Pretty cool for Richie's in the house. He was game this evening. He had to be Carl G. Had a very aggressive warm-up, and he ran huge. 12th, one cool dude, a little even pace. Fourth place, one blazing road. Too little, too late. 117 and 54 100s from the sixth. 20th career victory, Richie's in the house. How about this solid 10-year-old of A. Gelting? What a salty veteran this individual is. He's getting close to $600,000 in earnings. 20 for 42, six seconds, three thirds. Here he is, Richie's in the house. 10-year-old Bay Gelding by Sydney's Candy out of the Bring the Heat Mare Stream and Heat. And by J JSR Stables Incorporated. As a Jake Radozovich's stable, winning a jockey is Sunny Leone. Two for Sunny. This winner was bred in Illinois by Richard Raven. Richie's in the house, the official winner of tonight's sixth. Officially 10 8, 12 1. That 10 cent superfecta, $116.52. Dollar super, $1165.24. 10 8 exacta, $106.64. 10 8 12 trifecta, $158.49. 8 10 daily double, $30.64. 6 8 10 pick three, $245.69. No changes in tonight's seventh race. This happens to be our Thursday night featured race of the evening. Classic distance of a mile and a quarter. Some nice villies and mares, allowance condition, second allowance condition, optional tag of $40,000. It starts our late pick three, a field of nine. Clear of change. White Lilacs is the current favorite at 2-1. 23 minutes away. 8.55 is the post tip. And there they go. And White Lilacs assumes the top spot. Lily Lane is showing a little bit of speed from the inside. She's gone. Crickenberger also forwardly positioned. And right behind them races when the dawn breaks. So it is White Lilacs with the lead. Crickenberger stays close with She's Gone. Lily Lane from the rail when the dawn breaks in the fifth spot. Diamond Solitaire to her outside from the inside. Amazon Queen. Queen of Missoula community adjusted. They are at the back marker. So it is White Lilacs and Joe Talamo making the pace to the 7 8. And the lead is better than two links to Crickenberger, who stays close from second. Lily Lane and She's Gone are five links off the lead. 
two and a half to Amazon Queen. When the dawn breaks from between gals and Diamond Solitaire running with them three deep. Two lengths to Queen of Missoula and Community Adjusted. White Lilacs at the 5 8 to length. Krickenberger keeps her somewhat honest. They have more than three lengths to Lily Lane and she's gone. When the dawn breaks is in the fifth spot. Amazon Queen from the rail. Six, little less than six off the lead than Diamond Solitaire. Queen of Missoula inches a little closer in the two path and Community Adjusted abides her time at the tail of the field. They race to the far turn run, and White Lilacs has had enough of Krickenberger. Here's Lily Lane, and here's When the Dawn Breaks with a nice turn of foot to the outside. When the Dawn Breaks makes her move after White Lilacs. Lily Lane is into the third spot. Queen of Missoula's beginning a bid from the far outside. Amazon Queen's outrunning her on. She tries to quicken in. White Lilacs confronted by When the Dawn Breaks. Queen of Missoula ranges up into action from the outside. And here's When the Dawn Breaks getting the lead from White Lilacs. Queen of Missoula's the late player to the outside. Queen of Missoula comes away with the lead. When the Dawn Breaks has nothing in response. Queen of Missoula, another one for Luan Machado, a good-looking winner of the Thursday night featured affair. When the dawn breaks, second best. Community adjusted from a long ways out into third. Amazon Queen checked in fourth for the Superfecta. This is a powerful a four-year-old Philly Queen of Missoula. She looked very good winning on the 6th of December memory serves correct she might have been entered in another race but scratched out of it can't hold me to that one but for some reason that's what's coming to my brain she put in a furious charge in early December and she repeated those tactics beautifully this evening a big effort from when the dawn breaks who made that nice big blitz for the top spot after white lilacs but Queen of Missoula had the best stride in deep stretch another one for Luan Machado Two in a row, number six, Queen of Missoula. Both at the classic distance of a mile and a quarter. Four-year-old Dave Philly by Liam's map out of the explicit mare, Zareen Queen, owned by Jeremiah Kane. Being a trainer, Ben Colbrook. A riding double for Luan Machado. And it was bred in Kentucky by Jerry Kane. That exact at $28.12. The trifecta, $41.90. 10-6. Daily double, $24 with a couple of pennies. 10 cents, Superfecta, $48.44. Dollar Superfecta, $484.43. 8, 10, 6, pick three, $69.69. Race eight begins our late daily double. Scratch two, a morning boss, two morning boss out of the eighth race. 10, Beravina has an additional workout. 10th of February, High Point Farm and Trading Center. Half mile move, money racetrack, 51 and two fifths, breezy. 9.25 is the post time for the eight, starting the late daily double. And there they go. And showing pace is Juridicial and Broadway Blazer comes sassy and bold. Night Living is also up there, so too is Shurkin in the fifth spot. Sparadigm six now making a bid for fifth from the inside. Storm Charging has the seventh position. And racing with her is Taboo Who. Further out races Mused with Bel Ravina. And Dogwood's Millie Jane is the last of all. And the eight to five favorite, Sassy and Bold, is up to the front from Juridicial. Knight Livens in the clear from the far outside. She makes a move for third. Broadway Blaze in the two path. From the inside is Sparadigm. Little more than three and a half or four off the lead. And trying to close in is Taboo Who. And even further out in the field, I believe that is Mused. And here she comes with a big sweeping move after Sassy and Bold. Sassy and Bold. Sure can. Mused from the far outside. Taboo Who in behind the leaders. She's won from the outside. Juridicial was in a tight spot. Broadway Blaze is also still fighting on. It is Sassy and Bold. She has not put away Sure can. Sure can right alongside of Sassy and Bold. Sure can's up to the front. Sure can's going to win the money. Sure can from Sassy and Bold, Taboo, who's third. And fourth place looks like Storm Charging in a photo with Broadway Blaze. Old races on the Thursday night card. You could make uh, choices or make chances. Or cases, there you go. Sometimes the third one is the best word. You can make cases for just about each and every one of the runners. I know the one Sassy and Bold was the definitive 8-5 to five favorite, but 
Somewhat of a suspicious glass drop for her. How about the eight? Sure can. Not seen since late August when she won a five furlong turf dash at Calterra. Sure can and Abel Cedillo. In the upset, 13 to 1. Sure can. Four year old chestnut filly by more spirit out of the Zummerberg mare, appealing Katie, owned and trained by Steve Armstrong, winning jockey Abel Cedillo. When it was bred in Kentucky by Ouija Bloodstock. Exact to $136.54, the trifecta $295.04, 6 8 daily, double $71.05. Super Factors, a 10 cent, $2,053, three cents. Dollar Super, $20,530.37. A pick three, better than $180. 10, 6, 8, $184.38. One more race to go on the Thursday card, and we have plenty of scratches here in the nightcap. 4, 5, 12, 13, and 14. He's elusive. Just guess. Bricklayer, hold the phone. Quiet rush. 4, 5, 12, 13, and 14. All scratched from the Thursday nightcap. Number one, Jericho. It's a first time at Gelding. And number three, a Montevallo. Three pounds over the weight. Super high five opportunity. 23 minutes until the nightcap. 9.55 is the post time. And there they go. You spell attends the pace. Also, there is Mr. Mello. Look at Wicked Melody. Hustled along, trying to be part of this front line. Montevallo also there. Montevallo from the inside. Wicked Melody also gunned very hard. These are the two quickest through the clubhouse turn. Mr. Mello is third. Money Memelo's in the fourth spot. Here's New Spell. He's fifth through the early stages. Three lengths off the lead. Now they're going to try to slow it down. Coasting by a little more than four and a half from the front. Jericho from the inside. Mr. Faversham from the far outside. And Brother Rice is the last of all. And it's a little less than seven lengths from first to last. And Wicked Melody's up to the front past the 5 eight from Montevallo. Mr. Mello is third. From the inside, Money Memolo, he's the gray. New spells in the clear from the outside. Little more than two and a half off the lead. Coasting by a little less than three lengths from the front. Jericho, four lengths off the pace. A length back to Mr. Faversham. Brother Rice at the tail. Eight lengths covers the group. They race to the three eights. Wicked Melody and Montevallo. Here comes Mr. Faversham and New Spell. Mr. Faversham to the far outside. New Spell is one from the outside. New Spell has his nose in front, but they are stacked across the track. Mr. Faversham is there. So to his wicked melody, Montevallo, Mr. Mello, Money Memolo from the inside. Brother Rice is trying to close in, also trying to quicken in. Jericho, new spell, trying to give somebody 50K past the eight pole. Mr. Faversham's all over him. Mr. Faversham has his head in front. Mr. Faversham in the nightcap, the late double to Abel Cedillo. New spell ran his heart out, then Money Memolo in third. Jericho looked like he checked in fourth. And for the super high five, either Brother Rice or Montevallo. I couldn't imagine being alive for $50,000. And here's New Spell running his heart out, trying to get it to that one lucky fan, the nine to five favorite. New Spell is going to play second fiddle to the second choice. 11, Mr. Favor, GM. There's another horse this evening that had a pretty aggressive warm up. I've seen it work a couple times here so far this week. Mr. Favor Sham at 3 to 1, a very good second in his most recent race. He overcomes this wide post. And boy, he sustained a big time charge through the turn all the way to the wire and spoiling the fan that had new spell for $50,000 plus. 140 and 66 100s. Boy, they stacked up for the minor placings. Make sure to hold all tickets. There's Mr. Favor Shiam. Look at his running lines, his company lines. Track Phantoms, the morning line favorite for the Risen Star this Saturday at the fairgrounds. Mr. Favor Shiam, a three year old Dark Bayer Brown Colt, a tonalist out of the Pure Prize Mare. Wait No More. Owned by Belmont Racing and Breeding LLC, along with David Ingordo. Winning trader is Cherie Deva, the late double to Abel Cedillo. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Mockmer Hall. 
Six eight eleven late pick three one hundred ninety four dollars fifty five cents late pick five fifty eight hundred fifty nine dollars twelve cents four out of five fifty two dollars seven cents eleven nine exacta from the nightcap twenty two dollars twenty four cents. The 9 8 right back to $36.78. Abel Cedillo's a late daily double eight eleven. The winning combination $53.87. Late pick four eight hundred fifty nine dollars seven cents ten cents super facto eleven nine eight one fifty five dollars thirty four cents dollar super five hundred fifty three dollars forty five cents better than fifty thousand dollars for the single six carryover into the Friday's Alive card. Super high five, five hundred ten dollars and fourteen cents. Pretty much got it covered. Get you that precise carryover. Friday's alive, five fifty-five tomorrow. Come on out. All sorts of great entertainment. Giving away some cash. As always with our promotions, you want to be part of our players club. It's free to sign up. Friday's alive with a carryover, fifty thousand six hundred twenty-six dollars and fifty-six cents. Nice carry over to think about for the Friday's Alive card, 555. That's a wrap on Thursday's action. Sure hope you had a great night of racing. I'm leaving the track. Please drive very carefully. This has been racing from Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Good night, everyone.